guys welcome back to miss fountain channel and in this session we're going to look at hair growth cycle in our previous video we, we introduced forensic hair analysis where we began by introducing the by looking at the morphology of hair in this session we're going to look at the hair growth cycle if you've not watched the previous video kindly watch it so that you will will bring the same board here hair growth cycle has different stages one of them is anagen which is the growing phase we have catagen which is the trans transition phase we have telogen which is the resting phase and we have exogen which is the shedding phase we're going to begin with anagen this is the active growth phase and in anagen hair progenitor cells proliferate they envelop the growing dermal papilla they grow downwards into the skin and begin to differentiate into hair shaft and irs irs has uh, the hendis layer the hugsley's layer in the cuticle layer which produce keratin and trichol that serve as the intracellular semen giving strength to irs support and mold the, the growth of the shaft and to guide it up in its upward movement the newly formed hair shaft begin to develop the melanocytes located in the hair matrix show pigment producing activity the stem stem cells bulge of ors divide to produce secondary hair germ which becomes the matrix that's still in the anagen phase and we've used a term ors and ors has a kerat keratinocyte and melanocytes The germ cells were downwards, enclosing the dermal papilla. Matrix cells differentiate, forming cortex and IRS, which push upward at the hair bulb. Okay, the matrix cells differentiate, forming cortex and IRS, which push upwards as the hair bulb descend into the subcutaneous fat. Melanocytes send dead rights into hair bulb and begin secreting melanin into ke keratinocytes and the tip of the hair emerges from the irs we also have full restoration of hair fiber and there is new hair shaft appears from the skin surface that is hair emerges from the skin that's what happens in the anagen phase now we're going to look at the second phase that is the catagen phase which is the transition phase here follicle has a elong has elongated appearance as the root bulb shrinks and is being pushed out of hair follicle at the beginning differentiation and proliferation of hair matrix keratin keratinocytes decreases significantly pigment producing activity of melanocytes stops the hair shaft produce production is completed the hair follicle also undergoes apo apoptosis that is driven re regression that results in a redu in reduction of about one sixth of the normal diameter and this also this is followed by the specialized structure club that is club here is formed that's what happens in the catagen phase which is the transition phase now we have the telogen phase and in this the dermal papilla stays in resting phase and telogen hair follicles are characterized by lack of pigment producing melanocytes in the irs that is simply the telogen phase or the resting phase which is followed by the 
the final stage, which is what happens is that the hair exits. That is where the, we have shedding of hair. Yeah. That is the hair growth cycle in the simplest way. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned as we, we go deeper into forensic hair analysis.